end of April, guys. How did that happen? That means a third of the year is gone, which is a terrifying way of looking at things. But it's really got me thinking, because, I mean, I've done a lot of stuff in this first third of the year, um, but I don't feel like I've achieved much of any sort of concrete, merity type thing. So I sat down and I've come up with a list of ten things that I hope to achieve by the end of this year. So, let's go! First thing I want to do is pass this year of uni. I am on track to do that at the moment, but I'd really like to pass it with a good mark. So I'm aiming for around a 2-1. If I could get a 2-1 for my first year, that'd be brilliant. Fingers crossed, if I get on with my work, it'll happen. Number two, I want to get fit. I bought trainers and running stuff last year and didn't really use them. Um, this summer, because I've got such a long summer, I'm, I'm going home in a few weeks and won't need to be back here till October, so I figure it's the time to do it. Just for my own health more than anything, probably be good if I got a bit fitter. Number three, I would really like to be on stage. Um, I said in my last video about my brother being the actor in our family, which he is. I mean, I, I did drama classes when I was younger, but I was a really shy child. I'm still quite shy, but... Um, I was really shy when I was younger, so I never really pushed myself forward to do things. Um, I've been on the lookout for opportunities to, to give acting a go, just because I want to see if I would be able to do it. It looks like such a fun thing, and it's something which I'd just like to have a go at. For the fourth thing on my list, I've made a resolution to be a better friend. Um, I have an amazing group of people that I am lucky enough to call my friends. I don't think I let them know how much I appreciate them. So I guess, really, my resolution is to be around for them more and to tell them more often how much I love them. Because um, I really, really do. I'm so lucky. So yeah, I just want to let them know that. Number five is, I want to learn how to play the guitar. You probably guessed I'm quite musical, I talk about music a lot and I've done a couple of little music videos. Um, I really, really freaking love music. So yeah, I can play saxophone well and I understand the piano in that I can play it a bit, but I'm not great. Next thing I think I want to learn is the guitar. And the ukulele. Help me with number six, which is that I want to write a song, as well as the music thing. I write fiction and I'm doing a journalism degree. Ooh, plastic bag. Um, so, yeah, it's writing and music, I want to put them together. I've, I write stories, I've never been very good at poems and rhythm and stuff. I'm hoping learning the guitar will help me to understand structure of songs a bit better, I guess. And again, I just want to give it a go, see if I can do it. You never know might be good. Not hopeful, but you never know. Speaking of the stories I write, um, for number seven I'd like to finish one of these stories. I probably have about eight on the go. I start them and write bits, like the exciting bits, and then I can never be bothered to write in the build-up and sort of fill in the gaps. So this year, this summer, I'm really going to push myself to finish one of my stories so I can just say that I've followed it all the way through. I'd be quite proud of myself if I manage that one. Number eight is I want to get a job again this summer. All these things are happening this summer but um, university is expensive. I knew that coming into this I just didn't realise how expensive. All the hidden costs and looking after yourself takes a lot of money so this summer I want to get a full-time job just so I can save up some money so when I come back next year I will hopefully if I manage it be able to stress less about money because that's not a fun thing to stress about <laughs> number nine I would like to find someone to love oh god that sounds lame I just mean and desperate that sounds lame and desperate I'm not don't watch this and think I am, because at the moment I'm genuinely not that fussed about whether I'm in a relationship or not. If the right person came along, I'm thinking this year, it would be quite nice to have that. Um, if it happened, 19, it's about time I found someone to fall in love with, or at least, you know, fall in like with. Oh, this sounds so lame and embarrassing.
I'm gonna stop this one. We'll just... Oh, God. The final thing on my list is this. I want to keep vlogging. I love it. I really, really love it. Just as a way of being creative. It's different and it's fun and... I enjoy making every video and I enjoy being able to go out and looking at stuff and thinking, oh, that would be good in a video. It's just opened up this whole new way of thinking, I guess. And um, obviously a few more subscribers and a couple more views would be quite nice. But at the end of the day, that's not why I'm doing this. I never joined YouTube thinking, oh, I'll be YouTube celebrity. That's not really what I want. Basically, I just love doing it. So I want to continue. So that's it, that's my list of 10, make of it what you will, hopefully on the 31st of December 2011 I'll be able to sit in front of you and say that I've achieved them, or at least some of them, some of the things on that list would be nice. Um, feel free to tell me what you want to do this year, to get some kind of discussion going, I don't know, um, respond however you want, I would love to know, I genuinely would. So I will see you guys soon, let me know. Bye.